that. LisaHammer.com, you know. Yeah. LisaHammer.com. Uh, now I have some questions from uh, from about Venture Brothers. When did you hear the first pitch for the Venture Brothers? And do you remember what it sounded like? Was it just a conversation? Or? God, I don't remember at all because I was at that point I was married to Doc, but I think he 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 and Jackson were were working on it in their studio, and I don't remember at all. It was to a tell you the ago. truth, it was a long time ago, like 2003. But I had heard um, Doc, you know, coming up with pitching with with Jackson before, and I had heard him. I've spent a lot of time listening to him and Ben Edlin from The Tick. Uh-huh. They were pitching stuff back and forth, and it's it's basically like being you're like a fly on the wall in a room full of geniuses, and it's mind blowing because nothing is a dud. Everything they come up with is hilarious. It's brilliant. It's well thought out, and they came up with it in a split second. It came just straight out of their brain. I don't know how they do it, <laughs> but they're brilliant. Have you ever tried voicing any other characters on the show? Yes, I did um, the Leslie Bots and the Prostitute, and I think I did Genie. No, but I mean like any characters that didn't make the... No. Like where they told you, no, get out of here or anything? No. No? no. Okay. I have some questions from the Venture Home News uh, Facebook page group. Um, from the Venture Home News, what aspect of just, like, the, the working on the Venture okay. Brothers gives you the most satisfaction, if at all? The most satisfying part is being in the studio and having um, Doc and Jackson direct me. It is such a great experience. They're so good at what they do. They're so brilliant. And they are so able so quickly to direct me in the way I need to go. It's just such a pleasure to work with people that know what they're doing. Uh-huh. And um, it's a great experience. Um, if you could change thing, well, change one thing about Triana, what would that be, if anything? No, nothing. Nothing? No. She's perfect? You, yeah. wouldn't, you wouldn't dare mess with a, God, with a no. perfect cocktail? No. <laughs> um, and what's Christopher McCulloch really like? Is he as wacky as his many voices make him out to be? Oh, they're wacky. Doc and Public are wacky. I mean, they're, they're like I said, they're brilliant. And they're always on. They're always creating. They're always goofing around. But their goofing around is, it's work. It creates work. It creates the work. You know, so not, no, no moments are wasted. There's not any downtime, really, that I know of. I don't know um, him. Like, I don't hang out. Uh-huh. With him, so I don't really know his daily life. But just from what I witnessed being in the studio with them, is that they're they're just goofing around all the time, and it just turns into gold, comedy gold. What's it like in the Astro Base, uh, above the above the Earth, floating in a creative sphere? I feel like the the coffee is really good up there. Yeah, the coffee is the is the best part. The coffee is good up there. I gotta say. I guess you could get, like, Columbia to just rock it up the best coffee whenever yeah, you want. but I think that... Because you're centrally located in outer space. Well, I feel like God shits it into a cup and we <laughs> drink it, and it's, like, go, it's gold. Um, and one last question, back to filmmaking and aspiring filmmakers. Yeah. And more specifically, female aspiring filmmakers. What advice do you have for them in, you know making your own voice in the business and doing well, that type of stuff. You don't have to aspire anymore. Everyone can be a filmmaker now. When I was doing it, it was really, really rare for a woman to be doing it, and it was really rare to be doing underground filmmaking. I was shooting in Super 8 film and 16 millimeter film and cutting on film. Now you can shoot on an iPhone, and it looks like a Scorsese film. Yeah. So there's no more aspiring. Everyone is an artist now. All you got to do is lift your arm up and hit the go button and then just do some editing and you have a film, you put it on YouTube and you get millions of followers, you know, just, if you get, if you catch lightning in a bottle and you do, say you wanted to get a ton of uh, followers, you would probably go and find something topical, something that's really popular that has millions of hits and then do a parody of that just as your first project and then tag that project and like shoot it back at them. And then you'll get probably get a million hits doing that. I never really did that because I, yeah. I do what I do. Do you have your own 
you pick your own topics. You just, yeah, just do whatever feel you feel. Yeah. Yeah. I've been since I began filmmaking. I just do my own thing. You know, I just do what I want, and it either makes money or it doesn't. And you know, people like it or they don't like it, and I'm just happy to make it. But make what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. But you don't have to aspire anymore. Just do it. Nothing. Nothing is holding you back but your own your own mind. Thank you so much for answering these questions for us and for being on our podcast. The Thank Vundacast. you for asking. Um, please tweet us at Vundablog or at Vundacast. You want them to tweet you at, at Lady Lisa Terror? Yes, please. Let them know. Uh, let her know your thoughts or comments. Um, I have this blog now attached to the show. It's at Weebly. It's it's maybe sunshine So everyone's got to check that out right now. Maybe sunshine That'll show you about the the show that we're shooting now called Maybe Sunshine. And then I have a little blog on there. I talk about dolls and shipwrecks and ghosts and stuff. (laughs) Cool. Lots of hashtags. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Um, Let Doc and Jackson know they're welcome on the show anytime. Sure. And I'm Steven from the Vundacast. Danielle's also here. Levi Wilson. Lisa, live at Shock Pop Comic Con. Remember, kids, (laughs) shoot for the stars and you're bound to die in the vacuum of space. Yay!